Hello, this is not a spring chick, and I notice you're, you're noticing me in my Christmas skirt because we're getting ready for Christmas is our 2012 our live stream special this Thursday, November 15th, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on live stream or 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See, part of it is, is today is Veterans Day. There's a lot of veterans out there, and just give them a hug, wish them, have, well, wish, tell them thank you. Thank you for serving our country and allowing us to live free as we can today. So happy Veterans Day. Meanwhile, we're going to bring on our favorite veteran, Old Camp, with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> and it's all that? over for the Republicans. No, did you feel it? What? No. Earthquake. Oh, really? Yeah, this all, everything over here bounced up and down. Oh. What got hit by an earthquake on life? Well, well, and I thought we weren't going to have very many earthquakes since it got colder. Well, the big monitor next to me bouncing up and down in the floor. Mm. Um, but it's all over for the Republicans? Oh, yeah, because they're trying to, okay, they're trying to make excuses for everything but the fact that nobody wanted Romney. I mean, they, they said that, all, they, they're trying to say, well, how could they have polled so wrong? Well, if they'd have got the conservatives to vote, they would have won the election. The conservatives did not trust Romney because he is a, 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 a they do not like liberals in the Republican Party, and, Matt, and Romney was a liberal. Basically, one guy said, you know why he couldn't tell you what his vision was? Because his vision was the Massachusetts vision, which is higher taxes, more government spending, mm -hmm. you know, being... You know, uh, that, that's a Massachusetts liberal, more social programs. Where he created, he refused to disown himself from the health care system that's breaking the state of Massachusetts. Mm. And happy Veterans Day. Say thank you to a veteran. Oh, no, well, actually, the, oh, uh, the, uh, they said the uh, people in the United States said F you to the veterans with this election because um, I, I pointed out the fact that, see, my father was severely injured in World War II fighting for the rights that you're giving away. My uncle was killed in Vietnam fighting for the rights that you're giving away. And I, I, I live with him, she, well, she can tell you, I'm Swiss cheese from here all the way up to the side of my head. And if people actually can see on camera, bullet hole there, bullet hole there, plate in the side of my head, fighting for the rights that you people just gave away. So it's not a happy Veterans Day for the veterans in this country. I know it isn't, and in fact, for Veterans Day, what General Petraeus ends up showing, oh yeah, all over the news with his reported affair, which basically nobody actually believes because, uh, you know, like I tell people, coincidence only happens in bad sci-fi movies on the Sci-Fi Channel. Plus the fact that I think I have a tendency that I may have screwed up somebody's plans because I broke all the information on Facebook about the woman he's supposedly seeing the day before the mainstream press put it out. Oh, yeah, interesting. That, it, it didn't take me much difficulty to find it because the people in the Pentagon are basically blabbing it all over the place. Mm -hmm. And report, Iran believes the U.S. drone was spying on oil tankers. Since it was in the uh, international waters, you know, certainly it was spying. They said, here's the problem with the, the thing is, Either we have nothing to worry about because the Iranian pilots are completely incompetent, couldn't hit the bride. They couldn't hit a thing flying 150 miles an hour above the water, or it was just simply meant to embarrass the president before the election, and they just shot up the water to make him look bad. And they made him look bad because oh, but Herbie Daddy said, "You know what? Diane Feinstein, the head of the Senate Military and Intelligence, is." She said that the President of the United States didn't bother to inform us until after the election, and we are not happy. But, oh, Kirby Daddy said the FBI didn't bother to inform us on Petraeus until after the election. Oh, he said the President of the United States didn't bother to inform us that Petraeus was giving his resignation until after the election. They said, are the Democrats unhappy with this president? Yes. The honeymoon is over. Yep. And Obama honors sacrifice made by nation's veterans. Oh, th this clown actually said, we're going to stamp out homelessness among the veterans in this country. This is my promise. And then they said, well, a lot of people are saying, well, that's impossible. No, if he takes the homes of the wealthy and gives to the people that have nothing, which is intention, folks, socialists take from everybody above. Don't see Obama raising his own taxes. Don't see, don't see Nancy Pelosi raising her taxes. 
don't see Susan Collins, any of those people, or the woman in Washington, Patty Murphy, they're not going to raise their taxes, but you're going to get your taxes raised because, uh, you know, uh, and they pointed out to Patty Murphy this morning, it's come to $80 billion in a year you want to raise. You can't cover anything by it, and you refuse to cut any spending. She said, well, we have to start somewhere. This is just the first on the people that aren't paying their fair share. And the guy said, they're paying all of the money. And he said, well, they're not paying enough. And he said, they're paying all of it. And he said, well, that's not enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. One one percent pay 75% of the taxes. Yep. And 47% pay no federal income tax. And who's not paying their fair okay. share? And they say, well, they're pay taxes. Well, you don't pay taxes on your automobile if you're not here legally. You don't pay taxes on your home if you're not here legally. You only pay sales taxes if you're not here legally. Which means they, they and um, they also get 47% uh, of the population also gets 75% uh, of the government handouts. I guess Obama, Obama took statistically 100% of the people that pay no federal income taxes and are on social services. And Romney, two supporters. We still believe that better days are. No, oh, no. That the problem is, is that the man he should he was picked by the party. I can tell people that um, 50 years ago, I was working on a local TV station, and basically when they were doing editorials, it was unfortunately my time doing editorials. So I picked the about how the elections or how the people are picked, and uh, you know the party picks them, people don't pick them, and I got it from the daily movie host live, you know, well, we had this a-hole on telling everybody that our democracy isn't the way it really is. The people decide who, and then over the air, somebody says, get the son of a off the air. They cut him off the air, and then explain to him the facts of life, and he said, they just told me that the party picks who's going to run, not the people. I didn't know that. Well, it's like he didn't know? No, they morons out there, folks. But he, he, he left the station after that because he, he basically was using four-letter words and stuff on live television. Mm -hmm. Bernanke's stamp on federal Fed could tie the hands of successor. Well, no, they're just going to pick another person like Bernanke. They said that there'll be no change in federal policy until... The, okay, there is no such thing as a third, as the party winning the election for three years in a row, three terms in a row. So unless Obama decides to stay president, which I don't think, because they'll impeach him. He's going, he, Obama is gone this next term. It's not a matter of if, it's just when they get him, because they're going to blow the whistle on him, because they're really unhappy with this guy, folks. And strong quake strikes Myanmar, and 12 feared dead. Yeah, and Obama's going there. He's, Obama's going to do his... Soviet socialist dictators tour in the Middle East. Instead of working on the budget, he's going to do his dictators tour. Isn't that oh. amazing? He's going to apologize for the United States again. Mm. Well, <laughs> I hate that. Vet flooding is not just on the East Coast, but also in Venice. Oh God, there's water knee deep on the streets of Venice. People I mean, are swimming in Venice. I know. If it was me, I've been to Venice since. You can't really tell where the sidewalk ends and where the ocean begins. I don't think I'd be out there walking in some of those places because you can fall off, you know, 40, 50 foot into the water and not even know it's happening until you've done it. Oh, I love this one. It sounds like a Darwin Award. Yeah. Rappers rob recording studio and leave sound behind. I know. I mean, they, what? They, they, they okay. They basically stole equipment, but they used it to re they had a recording session in there and left the master behind instead of taking it with them. So you guess they're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, and then now they can't use the song. Guess who that was? <laughs> I know. It'll, it'll probably be a big hit though. <laughs> Nor'easter kicks up while we're down. Stories from yeah. the storm. Well, yeah, it's just it, it's it's. Okay, basically they really don't give a rest to Tinker's Darn anymore because I mean we submitted something and we did nobody paid any attention to it whatsoever because it's no longer a big deal because the election is over and the president won because he was presidential. Of course, if you were a Republican, he said F you and you still don't have power and heat. And man put to death in Texas for woman's 2002 slaying. Well, the, uh, the Democrats did everything they could to reward him for killing the person. They wanted him because, uh, the, okay, the Democrat works on a thing. If there were no wealthy people, there would be no one dying. And 
It is not the Republicans that say women get what they deserve. It is the Democrats because the more liberal you become, the more conservative you become. Oh, Remember, socialists are extremely conservative people. They're not liberals. Anna Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That, uh, okay, but when you run a candidate that you, no one absolutely likes and you expect to win with that candidate, that's where your first ball is.